I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. Dr. Daniel Hale Williams was born in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania on January 18, 1856. Daniel was the eldest of eight children. Around the age of 10, his father died of tuberculosis. The family moved to Baltimore, Maryland to live with relatives. At an early age, Daniel became a shoemaker's apprentice. He didn't like that line of work, so he returned to his family's barbering business. Ultimately, Daniel decided to pursue his education. He worked as an apprentice for Dr. Henry Palmer, who was considered a highly accomplished surgeon. In 1883, Daniel graduated with an MD degree at the Chicago Medical College. Dr. Williams practiced medicine in Chicago at a time when there was only three other black physicians in Chicago. He also worked with the Equal Rights League, a black civil rights organization active during the Reconstruction era. He was considered a thoughtful and skilled surgeon. Dr. Williams' practice grew as he treated both black and white patients. In 1889, he was appointed to the Chicago State Board of Health, known as the Illinois Department of Health, and he worked with medical standards and hospital rules. Dr. Williams practiced during an era when racism and discrimination prohibited African Americans from being admitted to hospitals and denied black doctors employment on hospital staff. What a shame. To counteract this discriminatory practice, Dr. Williams founded the Providence Hospital and Training School for Nurses, now called Providence Hospital of Cook County in Chicago. The Providence Hospital and Training School for Nurses was the first hospital in America established by black doctors. And Dr. Daniel Hale Williams led the way. This hospital still stands to this day. This hospital was established as the first hospital in the country with a nursing and intern program that hired African Americans. This hospital also has the distinction of being the first medical facility to have an interracial staff. In 1893, Dr. Williams became the first surgeon to perform an open heart surgery on a human. Did you hear that, folks? The first open heart surgery ever performed was performed by Dr. Daniel Hill Williams, a black man. I'd like to know how many of us even know his name. I repeat, Dr. Daniel Hale Williams performed the first ever open heart surgery on a human being. The surgery was performed at the Providence Hospital in the summer of 1893. The operation was done without x-rays, antibiotics, surgical prep work, or tools of modern surgery. Boy, this man had to be a genius. Dr. William Skilled placed him and Providence Hospital at the forefront of one of Chicago's medical milestones. And his patient, James Cornish, survived. He was discharged 51 days after his remarkable surgery. Another thing that we need to point out is not only was Dr. Williams the first doctor to perform an open heart surgery, but his patient, the first person to ever receive such a surgery, James Cornish, was also a black man, who, by the way, survived another 20 years after the successful surgery. Ladies and gentlemen, we can accomplish anything if we put our mind to it. Dr. Williams was considered a pioneering heart surgeon during a time when technological discoveries were revolutionizing the practice of medicine. In 1894, Dr. Williams moved to Washington, D.C., where as a chief surgeon of the Freedmen's Hospital, 
he continued his assault on health disparities by encouraging the employment of a multiracial staff and promoting the advancement of surgical procedures. Although he, along with other nurses and doctors of that time, were discriminated against and not allowed to practice medicine at certain institutions, he did not let that cloud his judgment when it came to the overall health and just doing what was right for the people. And let's be honest, folks. Many people in his position would not have pushed for a multiracial staff to be hired at these different institutions. But he was able to look beyond the prejudice that exists during that time. In 1895, he co-founded the National Medical Association, a professional organization for black medical practitioners. This organization was instituted as an alternative to the all-white American Medical Association that did not extend membership to black doctors. Yet another example of this doctor not complaining about the situation, but simply going to start his own. When Dr. Williams left the Freedmen's Hospital in 1898, he returned to Providence. He later moved to Cook County Hospital and then to the larger St. Luke's. He worked at Meharry Medical Center for about 20 years beginning in 1899. And in 1913, he became a charter member of the American College of Surgeons. Now this bears repeating. The first person ever to perform a successful open heart surgery on a human being is Dr. Daniel Hill Williams. And many of us don't even know his name. So I say again, Dr. Daniel Hill Williams, thank you for your contribution to this society. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. We ask that you please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, thou art rich.